Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show you 7 methods to fix this problem in Windows 10. Bluetooth allows you to connect your computer to other devices via wireless technology, but what do you do if it doesn't work in Windows 10? In this video, we'll discuss the Windows 10 error Bluetooth is not available on this device to try using an external adapter. You may be able to fix it by following these steps. What causes the Bluetooth is not available error on Windows 10? This Windows 10 error is often caused by many different things. For example, an outdated Bluetooth driver can lead to this problem. Damage is also possible when using an external Bluetooth adapter. These adapters are also not always connected properly, which causes problems too. The most common cause for the Bluetooth is not available on this device to try using an external adapter error are as follows. Problems with your Bluetooth driver, hardware issue, Windows 10 bugs, and physical damage to your Bluetooth adapter. So no matter what causes this problem, we'll walk you through fixing it. Let's get started with troubleshooting. Method number one, turn Bluetooth on. Click on the Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen to bring up the start menu, then choose settings. Click on devices, switch to the Bluetooth and other devices tab using the left side panel of the settings window and make sure that the Bluetooth toggle is set on. If it isn't, click once to enable it. To restart Bluetooth, toggle the feature on and off once, waiting at least 30 seconds in between. Check if your Bluetooth driver and devices are properly functioning afterwards. Method number two, disconnect and reconnect the Bluetooth device. Click on the Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen to bring up the start menu and choose settings. Then click on devices, switch to the Bluetooth and other devices tab using the left side panel of the starting window, select the Bluetooth device you are using and then click on the remove device button. Wait for Windows to completely disconnect the device. After Windows has disconnected the device, it will be removed from the device list. Now click on the add Bluetooth to other device button and pair the wireless device again. Check if you are still getting problems with Bluetooth driver after completing these steps. If the issue is still persistent, continue troubleshooting with the next solution found next. Method number 3. Run the Bluetooth troubleshooter. Click on the Windows icon to bring up the start menu and choose settings. Then click update and security. Switch to the troubleshoot tab using the left side panel. Then click additional troubleshooters and locate the Bluetooth troubleshooter there. Here you should be able to see a troubleshooter titled Bluetooth. Press run the troubleshooter, wait for the troubleshooter to scan your device and identify any issues. Bear in mind that the troubleshooter is not perfect, which is why we suggest to try it last. Method number 4. Start the Bluetooth support service. Press the Windows plus R key on your keyboard at the same time to bring up the run utility. Type in services.msc and then hit OK. Find the Bluetooth support service from the list, select it by clicking it once, then right click and choose restart from the context menu. Wait for the service to restart and then right click and choose properties from the context menu. A separate window should appear on the screen. Choose automatic from the available options. Doing so will ensure that the Bluetooth service is always running when you boot your computer. And then hit apply. Method number 5. Fix your Bluetooth settings. Some users have found that the option for Bluetooth devices to discover your computer might be disabled in Windows 10. This can happen for a number of reasons similarly to the aforementioned Bluetooth service. This is how you can fix it. Press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard at the same time to bring up the run utility. Type in control without the quotation marks then hit the OK button. This is going to launch the control panel in a separate window. Use the search box in the top right to look up Bluetooth from the search results. Then click on the change Bluetooth settings link found under the device and Bluetooth category. Make sure to enable the allow Bluetooth devices to find this PC from the options tab. And click apply after checking the box and then see if your wireless device functions properly. 
you might need to restart your computer for the change to apply. If it doesn't work afterward, try it a different method from this video. Method number six, update your Bluetooth drivers. Press the Windows plus X key on your keyboard and click on the device manager option from the Windows menu. Expand the Bluetooth menu by clicking on the arrow next to it, right click on your Bluetooth adapter listed in the menu and then choose Update Driver. Select the method of to tighten your driver. Wait for the driver installations to complete. Repeat this for any other Bluetooth adapter drivers you use and see if the issue has been fixed. Method number 7. Reinstall your Bluetooth drivers. First, you need to uninstall the current driver by following the steps. Press Windows R keys on your keyboard at the same time to bring up the run utility. Type in devmgmt.msc. It's going to launch the device manager in a separate window. Then you have to expand the Bluetooth category and then select uninstall device. Then you have to press uninstall. Wait for the Windows 10 to remove the device before proceeding. To reinstall, first check your system information. Go to this PC and click on properties. Check and note the brand of your processor in the system section. The most common brands are Intel and AMD. Make sure to also note down your system type, which is either 64 or 32-bit. Download the Bluetooth driver that matches your system. Open a web browser, Microsoft Edge, come pre-installed on every Windows 10 device, allowing you to browse the internet immediately. Navigate to a search engine and type in your processor type, and then add Bluetooth driver download next to it, then hit search. Look at the website that takes you to the official download links. Make sure to only download files from the official source to avoid viruses and malware infection. Download the latest version of the appropriate Bluetooth driver for your system. Pay attention to the architecture version and download the driver that matches your system. Now that you have the correct device drivers, the last step is installing them. To install the Bluetooth driver, simply open the file you downloaded in the previous step and follow any on-screen instructions. Note that you might require access to a local administrator account to be able to install the driver on your device. This is a security measure in Windows 10 to ensure no incorrect or infected drivers are installed on the computer. After the installation is complete, you may need to restart your device and check if you can connect and use Bluetooth and wireless devices on your Windows 10 computer. If you are still experiencing issues after following the steps in this video, please contact us for further assistance. And if the problem is solved, let us know in the comments what method worked for you. I hope you liked this video, if you have any questions let me know in the comments, as I always say, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.